السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. المقداد رضي الله عنه reported I and two of my companions were so much afflicted by hunger that we had lost our power of seeing and hearing. We presented ourselves to the companions of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم but none of them would help us. Of course because they had nothing with them to present for them. So we came to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and he took us to his residence and there were three goats. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, milk these for us. So we milked them and every person of us drank his share and we set aside the share of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was habit to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to come during the night and greet those who were there in a manner that wouldn't wake up one in his sleep but make the one who was awake hear him. He would then go to Al-Masjid and observe prayer and then go to his meal to drink. Al-Maqdad added, One night the Satan came to me when I had taken my share and he has said Muhammad has gone to the Ansar who would offer him hospitality and he would get what is with them and he has no need to this draft of meal. So I took that milk and drank it. And when it had penetrated my stomach and I was certain that there was no way out but to digest it, the Satan aroused my sense of remorse and said to me, Woe be to you. What have you done? You have taken the drink reserved for Muhammad. When he would come and wouldn't find it, he would curse you and you would be ruined. And thus, there would go waste this world and the hereafter for you. There was a sheet over me. As I pulled it upon my feet, my head was uncovered. And as I pulled it above my head, my feet were uncovered. And I couldn't sleep. But my two companions had gone to sleep because he hadn't done what I had done. There came the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he greeted as he used to greet by saying assalamu alaikum then he went to observe his prayer and came back to take his milk but he did not find his milk then he raised his hands to the sky and i said to myself at this time the prophet muhammad would invoke curse upon me and i would be ruined but the messenger of allah said O oh Allah, feed him who fed me and give drink to him who provided me a drink. I held tight the sheet upon myself when he had supplicated. I took hold of the knife and went to the goats possessed by the Prophet Muhammad to slaughter one of them to the Prophet Muhammad and in fact all of them were milch goats. Then I took hold of the vessel which belonged to the family of the Prophet Muhammad and they used to milk and drink from it and milk them in that until it swelled up with foam. I came to the Prophet Muhammad and he said, have you taken your share of milk during the night? I said, drink it and he drank it. Then he handed the vessel to me to drink from it. I said, O Messenger of Allah, drink it and he drank it and handed over the vessel to me again. I then perceived that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had satiated and I had got his blessing. I burst into laughter so much that I fell upon the ground. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Naqdad, it must be one of your mischiefs." I said, "O Messenger of Allah, this affair of mine is this and this." And I did so and so. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, This is nothing but the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why didn't you give me the opportunity to awaken our two friends? And why didn't they take their share of me? I said, By who who has sent you with the truth? I don't mind whatever you give to them and whatever the other people happen to get when I had got it along with you from among the people. صلى الله عليه وسلم